I'm Joanna James of GentleRoseWellness.com. Today I'm going to share with you a few tips that I've learned about baking with essential oils. And I'm going to teach you exactly how I make each of my prize winning essential oil flavored cupcakes. There are four flavors and you can make them all at the same time. Mint chocolate, chocolate orange, lavender, which is more of a sophisticated flavor, perfect for brunch or tea, and lemon poppy seed. Essential oils do so many things for us besides smell amazing. It's important to choose certified therapeutic grade essential oils when adding them to your foods and drinks because if you don't, you could do more harm to your body than good. To learn which essential oils I use and to buy your own, come visit GentleRoseWellness.com. There are a couple of different flavors of citrus oils in the cupcakes and it's important to remember that citrus oils have a low smoke point, which means that you'll be left with only the flavor and not a whole lot of therapeutic benefits. But you will be adding the oils to the icing as well. That's where you're still going to get all of the healing and nutrient properties of the oil. Get your oils ready. You're going to need peppermint, wild orange, lavender, and lemon. Here's a time-saving secret. Just buy two separate cake mixes, one chocolate and one white. This way you can impress the whole crowd at the party without spending all day in your kitchen covered in flour. <laughs> when I make cupcakes, I always buy gluten-free, dairy-free mixes and icing so that everyone at the party can enjoy. A tip for mixing the cupcake batter is to have your mixer set on low so that you don't over mix it. This way, they'll be super fluffy, moist, and delicious. Make the batters according to the recipes then separate each batter into two bowls. You'll have two bowls of chocolate and two bowls of white. Place teaspoons next to each bowl and the specific oil that you want to use in each. This makes it easy to see which one goes in which. Set the oil you're pairing with the batter next to its bowl so that you don't forget which is which. Peppermint and wild orange should be with the chocolate batter and lavender and lemon with the white. Now take your oil and spoon and add a drop at a time. Sometimes the thinner oils will drop more than one drop of oil at once. So that's why I say stay on the cautious side and just do one drop at a time and stir and taste. I find three to seven drops of the citrus oils are usually enough. Peppermint and lavender are quite strong, so three to five drops would be plenty. Because the oils bake off a bit, make sure the batter is slightly stronger than you like because they're always a little less strong after they've been baked. Then you can add a tablespoon of poppy seeds to the lemon and a tablespoon of lavender flowers to the lavender. Make sure you mark which of the chocolate cupcakes are which after you scoop them out into the cupcake wrappers. An easy way of doing this is just to insert a toothpick before baking on one side of the cupcake pan. That way you'll know that a certain flavor is on that side. As they bake for about 18 to 25 minutes, you can work on the icing. Purchase enough icing for one 9 by 13 inch cake and once it's ready, Divide it between four small bowls, and again, set your oils, and this time food colorings as well, beside each bowl. Place the appropriate amount of food coloring in each portion, stir, and get it to the intensity of the color that you like. Then do as you did for the cupcake batter, and add one drop of oil at a time to the spoon and stir. Taste after each drop. Three to five is usually about right in the icing as well. When the cupcakes are done baking, Check them with a toothpick. It should come out clean. Once the cupcakes are cool, you can use a piping bag with a star tip to get the same look as mine, or you can just use a Ziploc bag and cut the tip off. Once they're iced, arrange them on a cute cupcake stand and you're good to go. Gentle Rose TV on her tube, come to gentlerosewellness.com and sign up for the newsletter. We'll see you there.